Okay, so we now know what a radian is. And we now know how to convert radians into degrees and degrees into radians. One of the important things we need to be able to do in trigonometry and geometry for that matter is find complementary and supplementary angles. Before we do that, let's talk about what it is in degrees first, just to remind you of, of what you probably learned in geometry or should have learned in geometry, and that is how to find complementary and supplementary angles. Complementary, let me go ahead and write that in here, complementary with two E's. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees to a right angle. Supplementary angles add up to 180. So if I said to you, I have a 15 degree angle and I want to know what the complementary angle is and what the supplementary angle is. You should know how to do that, shouldn't you? To find the complementary angle, I'll just put C. I take my 90 degrees and subtract my 15 degrees and I get a 75 degree angle. That's the complementary angle for 15. 15 and 75 are complementary angles because they add up to 90. My supplementary angle is going to be 180 degrees minus the 15 degrees, which is, quick little bit of math there, 165 degrees. Okay, 15 and 165 are supplementary. 15 and 75 are complementary because they add up to 90. 15 and 165 degrees are supplementary because they add up to 180. What about radians? Well, now that you're all radians experts, you can change this definition a little bit and say that complementary angles don't add up to 90 degrees. They add up to how many radians in 90 degrees? Pi over 2 radians. So complementary angles add up to pi over 2. And supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees, which is pi radians. So if I have an angle measurement in radians and I want to find the complementary angle, what do we need to do? Let me give you an angle. Let's say we have an angle measurement of 2 pi over 5 radians. And I want to know what's the complementary and supplementary angles for that. Well, what did I do to find the complementary angle in degrees? I subtracted my angle from 90 to find my complementary angle. So if I'm talking about radians, what do I do? I'm going to subtract my angle not from 90 degrees, but from what 90 degrees is in radians, which is pi over 2. Right? More fractions. Don't worry about fractions. Okay? What are we going to do with this? Well, we're going to use a common denominator. What's my common denominator? 2 and 5? 10, isn't it? And in this case, in this fraction, I have to multiply the bottom by 5, so I have to multiply the top by 5. In this fraction, I multiplied the bottom by 2, so I need to multiply the top by 2. What's 5 pi minus 4 pi? Pi over 10. So what are we saying? Pi over 10 and 2 pi over 5 are complementary angles. What about supplementary? Okay, for degrees we subtracted from 180 but now we're talking about radians so we're going to subtract from 180 degrees worth of radians which is pi minus 2 pi over 5. Right? Again, we're going to do this over, um, actually we can do it over 5 this time, can't we? 1, let's do it over 5. Multiply the bottom by 5 here, so we have to multiply the top by 5 too. 5 pi minus 2 pi is 3 pi over 5. So 3 pi over 5 and 2 pi over 5 are supplementary. And that should make sense because if you add 2 pi over 5 and 3 pi over 5, what do you get? You get 5 pi over 5, which is just pi, right? Okay. 
just be careful when you do these problems. Sometimes you might get a kind of a trick problem that's bigger than pi over 2 to begin with. Oh, you know, let's come up with one. What if I said you had um, 3 pi over 5? That's bigger than 90 degrees, isn't it? Isn't that bigger than a half pi? 3 fifths is bigger than a half, isn't it? Okay, and they might ask you the complement, and your answer then would be no answer. And if you didn't realize it right off the bat, you could subtract it from 2. You could subtract it, couldn't you? What would you get? You'd get 5 pi over 10 minus 6 pi over 10. And what would you get? You'd get a negative angle. That should tell you something's wrong. Okay? And then I would hope you'd go back and look at your original num number and say, well, you know what? 3 pi over 5 is bigger than 90 degrees, so there can't be a complement. So again, what you need to do is to find the complement of an angle in radians. We subtract from pi over 2. And to find the supplement of an angle in radians, we subtract from plain old pi. Thanks.